Two years after a rap artist was gunned down outside a popular restaurant in South LA, the men convicted of murder and robbery today learned how much time they'll be spending behind bars. Guilty verdicts tonight in the robbery and murder of rapper PNB Rock. Freddie Lee Trone was convicted of murder and conspiracy to commit robbery, and Tremont Jones was found guilty of robbery. Trone was sentenced to 31 years and four months to life in state prison. Another defendant, Tremont Jones, was sentenced to 12 years for his part in the robbery that day. Rakim's mother and aunt also told Jones that he and Trone had caused them a lot of pain. So after what feels like an eternity, justice has finally been served in the case of PNB Rock's tragic death. A Los Angeles judge recently handed down a sentence of 31 years to life in prison to Freddie Trone, the man connected to the rapper's murder. Trone was sentenced to 31 years and four months to life in state prison. But here's the part that has everyone talking. Freddie wasn't just some accomplice on the sidelines like many first thought. Turns out, he actually sent his 17-year-old son to the scene to commit the shooting. Now, both Freddie Lee Trone, who had been on the run but was arrested in Las Vegas yesterday, and his 17-year-old son have been charged with murder in the death of rapper PNB Rock. Investigators say... Trone sent his 17-year-old son into the restaurant to rob the rapper. The team then shot and killed Allen, and Trone acted as the getaway driver. Pretty wild, right? This whole case just took an unexpected twist, making things even more intense. Now, it's no surprise that PNB Rocks fans aren't exactly celebrating the outcome. Many are feeling that the sentence doesn't fully reflect the seriousness of the crime, and social media has been buzzing with reactions. One Instagram user captured the mood perfectly by saying, It should be life. There should never be the possibility for parole when you take another life so senselessly. Honestly, the grief and frustration still feel fresh for a lot of people, as if the tragedy happened only yesterday. If you remember, PNB Rock was hanging out with his girlfriend at the famous Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in LA when the 17-year-old launched the fatal attack. What's even more heartbreaking is that he was pronounced dead soon after and it was later confirmed by the LAPD that the motive was robbery. We don't have the audio as to what the exact verbal exchange was at that time. The suspect then fired multiple rounds and then appears to remove some property. To what extent, we don't know at this time. This devastating news sparked a wave of reactions from fans all over the country, with some big names like Offset, Coy LeRae, and others offering their condolences to his family. Now, while this might seem like the case has almost come to a close, there's still a sense of dissatisfaction among his fans. Even PNB Rock's girlfriend, who was with him during the attack, hasn't made any direct comments about the sentencing yet. But earlier this month, she posted a heartfelt tribute on Instagram, and it's clear the pain is still felt. Let's dive in. So as we all remember, PNB Rock's life was tragically cut short after he was shot during an attempted robbery at a popular LA spot, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. It all went down on a Monday afternoon while he was having a meal with his girlfriend, Stephanie Sibunhuang, who had tagged their location on Instagram. Sadly, that post has since been deleted, but the damage was already done. The heartbreaking part? PNB, whose real name was Rakim Allen, was only 30 years old, with so much life still ahead of him. From the beginning, the whole situation seemed pretty confusing. Why would a 17-year-old target PNB Rock? It didn't make sense to a lot of people at first, but as the investigation unfolded, things started to click. Turns out, Freddie Lee Trone, the 42-year-old who we all thought was just an accessory, had actually sent his teenage son to carry out the operation. Investigators say Trone sent his 17-year-old son into the restaurant to rob the rapper. The teen then shot and killed Allen, and Trone acted as the getaway driver. Fast forward to today, and Trone has been sentenced to 31 years to life. Though it's safe to say many people aren't exactly satisfied with the verdict. During the trial, Trone denied giving the order to his son, claiming he was merely an accessory after the crime. But in August, he was found guilty of murder along with two counts of second-degree robbery and conspiracy to commit robbery. Not to mention, a second guy involved, Tremont Jones, also got convicted on similar charges and was handed a 12-year prison sentence. Another defendant, Tremont Jones, was sentenced to 12 years for his part in the robbery that day. Rakim's mother and aunt also told Jones that he and Trone had caused them a lot of pain. After the sentencing, Louisiana. County District Attorney George Gaskin made a statement saying, Today, justice has been served with the sentencing of two men for the tragic and senseless murder.
His life was cut short by an act of violence that no family should have to endure. Both sides of the case agreed that it was Trone's son who walked into the restaurant, shot PNB Rock, and robbed him of his jewelry. But here's the thing. The son, now 19, has been charged with murder, but he hasn't been found competent to stand trial yet. Meanwhile, Trone's legal team has already said they plan to appeal his sentence. It's no surprise that a lot of PNB Rock's fans were not happy with the sentencing, and they didn't hesitate to express their frustration all over social media. Many felt like justice wasn't fully served, and the sentence just didn't match the gravity of the crime. On the other hand, PNB Rock's fiance, Stephanie Sibun Huang, has remained pretty quiet about Trone's sentencing. She hasn't made any public statements regarding the verdict. But earlier this month, on September 12th, she did take a moment to honor PNB in a heartfelt Instagram post marking the two-year anniversary of his passing. They say that someone is never truly gone until you stop remembering them. I think there is truth in this. When you left this earth, a great part of me went missing. In her emotional tribute, Stephanie shared a video filled with memories of the time they spent together and wrote a touching caption that had fans feeling the love and heartbreak all over again. She wrote, Two years without you. It doesn't get easier. You just get stronger. I miss you. I love you. I think about you all day long. It's clear that her connection with him is still as strong as ever, with her even admitting, strange to say, as time goes on, I become more and more obsessed with you every day. It can't be normal. She ended her message with a beautiful note, can't wait to see you in paradise for eternity, forever in my heart at P and Brock, reminding everyone of the deep bond they shared and how much she still carries him with her. Shortly after his passing, Stephanie had opened up on Instagram, sharing how he had saved her life that day. I'm not supposed to be here, but because of him, I am," she wrote. She also talked about the heartbreaking moments after the shooting, how she couldn't ride with him in the ambulance and was forced out of the restaurant while the police investigated. My world is dark now. My heart is broken for the kids, she added, giving us all a glimpse into the deep pain she's been living with since that tragic day. It seems like PNB Rock was unfortunately targeted for his jewelry, based on reports. The suspect pulled out a gun inside the famous Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, demanding items from him. The victim was sitting at a table eating with a female witness when he was approached by the suspect. The suspect then brandished a firearm and demanded his property. Things escalated quickly, and tragically, PNB ended up losing his life in the process. He was rushed to the hospital right after the shooting, but sadly, he was pronounced dead at 1.59 p.m. Sorry to say that the victim has been pronounced deceased at 13 159 hours today. Um, South Bureau Homicide is working this case as are many other detectives. The LAPD wasted no time diving into the investigation, immediately reviewing the security footage from inside the restaurant to figure out who the shooter was. That's when it became clear that the person behind the trigger was Trone's teenage son. Before this tragic event, PNB Rock had made quite a name for himself in the music industry. He dropped two studio albums and worked with big names like Ed Sheeran, Nicki Minaj, and Chance the Rapper. Some of his most memorable tracks include 2015's Fleek and 2016's Selfish, with the latter reaching number 51 on the Billboard Hot 100. And just earlier this month, he dropped a new single, Love Me Again, which unfortunately now feels like a bittersweet farewell. PNB Rock leaves behind two daughters, Milan and Zuri, who he shared with his girlfriend Stephanie. In the wake of this heartbreaking tragedy, many of his fellow artists and friends have come forward to pay their respects and share their prayers. Big names like Offset, Questlove, and Coy LeRae took to social media, joining the flood of people mourning his loss and sending love to his family. That said, let's take a moment to walk you through a bit more of PNB Rock's life story, which, as you can imagine, wasn't exactly smooth sailing. Just like many rappers who come from tough backgrounds, PNB Rock had his fair share of struggles growing up in the streets. His life was filled with challenges that shaped both his character and his music. From a young age, he dealt with hardships that most people can't even begin to imagine, but he managed to channel those experiences into his art. It's safe to say that his journey wasn't any different from what many other artists in the rap game go through. The ups, the downs, and the harsh realities that come with trying to make it out of a tough neighborhood. It's this realness that made PNB Rock relatable to his fans and gave his music that raw, authentic edge. I want to order myself, I swear.
Rakim Hashim Allen, who the world came to know as PNB Rock, was born on December 9, 1991, in the Germantown neighborhood of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. From the very beginning, life threw some tough challenges his way. Growing up in a Muslim family, Rakim experienced a deep personal loss at a very young age. His father was tragically murdered when he was only three years old. With that, his mother became his main support system, raising him and his siblings in the tough streets of Northeast Philly. Despite the difficult environment, music became his escape and passion. He found solace in the sounds of iconic artists like Tupac and the R&B group Jodeci, who he listened to non-stop during his younger years. Their music would later become a huge influence on his own style, blending rap and R&B into the unique sound he's known for today. Those early influences stuck with him, helping shape the artist he would grow into, even as he navigated the rough realities of life in his neighborhood. By the time PNB Rock turned 13, life had already started throwing some serious challenges his way. He got into trouble pretty young, finding himself caught up in robberies and fights at school, which ultimately led to him being sent to a youth detention program. Things didn't get much easier as he grew older either. By the age of 19, he hit another rough patch when he was sentenced to nearly three years in prison for drug possession and other charges. After serving his time, PNB found himself facing homelessness and never completed high school. But even with all these setbacks, he didn't let go of his dreams. Determined to turn his life around, he adopted the name PNB Rock as a tribute to the corner of Pastorius and Bainton, a spot in Germantown that played a big part in his childhood. Music became his way out, and he threw himself into it full force. In June 2014, while still grappling with his personal struggles, PNB Rock released his first mixtape, Real N-Word Bangaz, which he had written while he was incarcerated. That marked the beginning of his rise. The following year, things really started to look up when he signed a record deal with Atlantic Records and dropped his third mixtape, R&B 3. But it was 2016 that really put PNB Rock on the map. His hit single Selfish became a breakout success, climbing all the way to number 51 on the Billboard Hot 100, and suddenly, everyone was paying attention. Nobody else. I want to order myself, I swear. Rolling Stone even listed him as one of their 10 new artists you need to know that year, signaling that he was officially making waves in the music world. By 2017, PNB Rock was really starting to make some major waves in the music industry. He dropped his second retail mixtape album, GTTM, Going Through the Motions, which made quite the impact, debuting at number 28 on the Billboard 200. His presence continued to grow as he contributed to the soundtrack for The Fate of the Furious, with standout tracks like Gang Up and Horses, where he teamed up with heavy hitters like Young Thug, Two Chains, Wiz Khalifa, and a Boogie Wit Da Hoodie. The summer of 2017 brought even more recognition when PNB was named as part of XXL's prestigious freshman class, putting him in the spotlight alongside rising stars like Playboy Cardi and X6 Tentacion. Then, in 2019, he hit another milestone when he finally dropped his debut album, Trap Star Turnt Pop Star, solidifying his place in the music scene. Around the same time, he was also featured on Ed Sheeran's hit track, Cross Me, alongside Chance the Rapper further broadening his reach. PNB Rock continued working with some of the biggest names in the game, including the late Pop Smoke and King Von, showing that his influence was still growing. In February 2022, he released SoundCloud Days, his final mixtape, which featured various up-and-coming artists. And in September of that same year, he dropped his last single, Love Me Again, released independently. Through all the highs and lows, PNB Rock's journey from the tough streets of Philly to becoming a household name in the music industry is a true testament to his resilience, talent, and determination. While his life was tragically cut short, his music and legacy continued to resonate with fans, keeping his spirit alive in the industry.